Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing tissues, organs and organ systems and finally a summary. In order for our bodies to function, cells need to work together and to do this there needs to be some level of organisation. In this video I'll be talking about the different levels of organisation. So first let's talk about tissues. Well we said before that cells are the basic building blocks of all living organisms. Our body has trillions of cells, and these are what some cells look like. So how are cells organized? Well, cells are arranged into tissues. So the definition you need for the exam is that a tissue is a group of cells with similar structure and function that work together to carry out a particular function. So now let's look at some examples of tissues. So one example is muscular tissue. So muscular tissue can contract or shorten and relax and that causes movement. Another example is glandular tissue. This secretes things like enzymes and hormones. One example of a glandular tissue is pancreatic tissue. This secretes enzymes used in chemical reactions and hormones used as chemical messengers. Nervous tissue is another tissue. Nervous tissue allows information to be sent across the body through electrical impulses. Epithelial tissue is another type of tissue. This lines the cavities and surfaces of blood vessels and organs. This is an example of epithelial tissue. So now we know about tissues, let's talk about organs. Well, the next level of organization are the organs. And the definition of an organ is a group of different tissues that work together to perform a specific function. Now let's look at some examples of organs. So one example is the heart, and the heart is shown here, as well as the lungs and the stomach. The stomach is made out of muscular tissue, glandular tissue, and epithelial tissues. These all work together to churn and digest food. Now let's talk about the next level of organization, organ system. So organs are organized into organ system. An organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform a particular function. So let's look at some examples. Well, one example is the digestive system. And this is what a digestive system looks like. The digestive system breaks down food and it also acts as an exchange system. The digestive system is made up of glands and the stomach, and this is where the food is digested, the liver, the small intestine, and the large intestine. These all work together to fulfill the function of the digestive system. Another example of an organ system is a cardiovascular system. And the cardiovascular system is shown here. The cardiovascular system is made up of the lungs and the heart. These work together to act as an exchange system. These systems enable the exchange and transport of materials inside large multicellular organisms. These include the exchange of sugars and salts, water and oxygen. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revise smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.